Morning from Mike Troll, Amsoil dealer. I'm going out by. Oh, I'm going out by first because I want to see it. Four wheel drive makes it nice and easy so it doesn't uh, try to push the ramps. Perfect. Hey, good morning, Mike Troll, Amsoil dealer, 146 3115. Today we're working on a 2011 F 150. This is the first year of the 3.5 EcoBoost. And so guys, with a turbo, you know that when you turn the engine off, the heat soak that comes out of those turbos that are driven by your exhaust, it's just cooking the oil. So you wanna make sure you have the best oil possible in there. And what better than this chemically engineered synthetic by Amsoil? This is 100% synthetic built in a lab uh, out of pure chemicals and designed exactly for um, you know high heat operation and it also flows very well in the cold so what we're going to start with is the amsoil engine flush this is detergent based this will clean carbon deposits from around the rings and also the turbos and everywhere else you might get those deposits and then we've got the fuel additives we're gonna add, and we've got our AMSOIL filter, which is 99% efficient at 20 microns. Really good for a full flow. And beyond that, you could look at a bypass filter, uh, which I've talked about in other videos. But let's get this thing going. So we got the engine flush going in. And again, this is not solvent-based, it's detergent-based, so it's gentle but it's a very effective at cleaning carbon deposits. So I normally do this when I switch a vehicle over to the AMSOIL for the first time. It's just gonna help ensure that we start clean because the Signature Series oil is a very good cleaner uh, as it is, the esters in the oil uh, will tend to clean deposits as you go. And so this just helps us to ensure we're starting clean. Now we'll fire it up and we'll idle for 15 minutes. We won't put it under a load or anything like that. So with the Amsoil PI, this is designed to go in every 4,000 miles. And check this out with the, uh, it's fully capless compatible, goes right in. No funnel needed. And that's gonna clean the entire fuel system in one tank of gas. Pops right back out. And we got our upper cylinder lube. This one's designed to be used every tank and it's gonna add lubricity to the gas so that the top end of your engine is getting a little bit of lubricity in with the fuel helps with the sealing of your top piston rings. Anything that helps compression is therefore gonna help efficiency and power. So when you keep your foot out of it, you should get better gas mileage. And when you want performance, it's there too. So all these things work in synergy, I think, together. You've got the cleaning of the rings from the oil side. You got the cleaning of the rings and sealing of the rings from this side. It all works together. And we'll let it idle for about 15 minutes. All right, so we're underneath and there's some different access panels, but for simplicity, I think I'm just gonna take this down. I've already got some of the bolts out. So we popped a few clips and some bolts and everything's down. There it is. Yep. Right on the front there. These bolts on the cover were 13s. That's what I'm using. We've got our 15 millimeter for right here. Break that loose.
This one still has an oil, actual oil plug, whereas the 2018 I did has a quarter turn plastic plug and boy it comes out full speed. I think a lot of the technicians prefer the quarter turns because they know what they're doing and they can get the oil drained a lot quicker. Let me know in the comments which one you like if you've had experience with both. And there comes the oil. Almost missed the pan. <laughs> and it is hitting the... Uh, stabilizer bar here. There we go. Owner's really excited. We just did their Toyota Sienna recently. You can check out that video. Subscribe if you would. Guys like the video. That's one of the easiest things you can do. For the creators that you follow and uh, definitely check my links in the description for the amsoil you can look up your vehicle and uh, join my tribe sign up as a preferred customer and save about 25 percent and uh, you'd be supporting the channel helping me out so i'd really appreciate it and thank you to all you who have uh, gone through my links and ordered your oil. It means a lot to me. We'll let this drain. I've got another small pan. We can go up front and work on the filter while this continues to drain. Alright guys, here's my filter wrench. It just kind of expands and goes over the filter. So there's the wrench on there and I'll just get an extension and a 3 8 and turn that off of there. Okay and here's our filter pad. We took the filter down, nice easy spin off. Does make a little bit of a mess but we'll hit that with some of the Amsoil brake and parts cleaner. And it helps to have a little secondary pan here where you can, you know, let everything drain at the same time. So this engine takes the Amsoil EAO 17. Where is it? There it is. And uh, you can't pre-fill fully because of the way it goes on, but we are going to pre-fill just a little bit. It'll kind of soak the media. And uh, this oil's filtered to two microns before it's bottled, so no worries there and we want to we do want to get a little we'll come back with a finger clean finger and get the gasket so guys again this oil is going to stand up to the heat of these turbos so well and so the oil and the filter in this case are good for 25,000 miles, one year, 700 hours, whichever comes first. And if you want to go past those, you can always do an oil sample and uh, see if it's still good. It's kind of hard to film some of this stuff, but I am going to set the camera down and focus on threading this thing properly. Feel like I was feeling, feeling in the dark to be able to see where it is, but now we are good. We'll screw it on, nice and easy. Threads are feeling nice. And then I'll get that as tight as I can by hand. So the size difference of the filter that came off, um, you've actually got more more filter uh, area inside that Amsoil filter in addition to um, the synthetic media rather than being a cellulose media. 
Here's a shot of the drain. Drain plug going in. It's probably been draining for a good 20 minutes. It's got the nice uh, rubber gasket right on the plug. Let me know in the comments if you know the torque spec, but I just do snug and tight. Don't strip it out. So if everything tight, go ahead and clean up a little bit. We got the Amsoil breaking parts cleaner. Throw some of that on your order if you need to make it to the threshold for the free shipping. Again, guys, join my tribe. As a preferred customer, my links will be down below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Try not to get the camera. Then we'll hit the filter too and uh, some of this on the differential cover. Guys, so I didn't film it, but the bolts in the back are actually slide bolts. So you can like loosen them and slide the thing forward. Or you can do what uh, I've been told some people do is drop those back bolts and drop the, drop the panel down, let it, let it hang down and, and do things that way. So there's some options. But we got it all buttoned back up and we're ready to add oil. Amsoil 100% synthetic 5W30. And yeah, my links will be down below in the description. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. So 100% synthetic, it's not a synthetic blend. And uh, actually the term full synthetic is more of a marketing term. So Amsoil differentiates by saying 100% synthetic. And uh, you wanna know what you're getting. So do your research on your oils and your formulations and you know what you're, what you're paying for versus what you're getting. And uh, check out some of my oil analysis videos where we've uh, sent samples to a lab. And uh, I've done some on the Honda Pilot, some on my Accord. And uh, this stuff holds up well. Um, the things that would condemn it early would condemn any oil early. Fuel dilution, um, you know, obviously if you run without an air filter or something and you just completely uh, that's going to destroy your engine from the inside out so make sure your air filter and your intake tubing is good um, but yeah things like uh, oxidation nitration if you have a very poorly running engine uh, that can degrade the oil at a faster rate but this is going to make these turbos so happy this oil, it stands up to heat so well. And also for our Northern folks, this oil flows in the cold. Being synthetic, 100% synthetic, it doesn't break down under heat as fast. And it also doesn't thicken in the cold the same way a petroleum-based oil does. All right. You can check out those performance facts down below. I'll have links in the description. This truck has about 132,000 on it and hopefully it's got many more years left in it. The share of verse of the day, um, just here we are on Saturday. This is, you know, we just celebrated uh, the death of Christ yesterday. Tomorrow we'll celebrate the resurrection of Christ. Many of you might say, well, why would you celebrate the death of your, of the one you, uh, claim to worship and it's because the death of Christ was orchestrated in eternity past it's the only way that you know holy God who can't look upon sin it's the only way he could take sinners like us and make us righteous in his sight because it's not what we've done it's what 
Christ has done, living the perfect life in our place and then dying the death we deserve, taking the full fury of God's wrath, God is then able to say, okay, my wrath is satisfied because the sin was paid for and uh, I'm going to look at you uh, like I look at my son. You have the righteousness of my son. And uh, guys, that's the gospel. So God commands all men everywhere to repent and put their trust in Christ alone, not in your religious accomplishments or good works. Put your trust in what Christ has done and he will, God will credit you with his righteousness. And that's what the cross is all about. So thanks guys. Have a happy resurrection day. All right. So let's get this thing started up and we will check for leaks and uh, back it down and check the level. Hey guys, when you get done watching my videos and you go down, click the links, you can look up your vehicle. First startup with the AMSOIL. Alright. Oil light go out? Sure it did, yeah, it sounds good. And, of course I put the of course, I put the cover back up so we might not see any leaks immediately. But we'll monitor the situation. I think we should be good. All right, you want to back it down? Coming down off the ramps. All right, let's check this oil after a few minutes. Let's we'll see what we get. Might be kind of hard to see in the sun, but what do you say? Looking good? Mm -hmm. All right. Grab yourself some AMSOIL. Put in your year, make, model, and engine down below and see exactly what you need. There's uh, oil change kits, but I encourage you. I mean, the one I deal with mainly is the Signature Series and the AMSOIL filters, but there are different options available. Here's my link, number one synthetic.com. Subscribe, share guys. Check out my AMSOIL links down below. God bless you. Let's let these turbos on this F-150 really sing. So look at these two filters. Uh, number one, just the size difference. Um, number two, the AMSOIL filter has a, the orange thing in there is a silicone anti-drain back valve. And this filter actually doesn't even have a drain back valve. So since these filters are mounted horizontally, there's the potential for the oil to leak out overnight back into the pan and you end up with a partially dry start. So I like the fact these have the anti-drain back valve. Hey guys, when you get done watching my videos and you go down, click the links, you can look up your vehicle. You can look up your vehicle, but I encourage you to sign up as a preferred customer using my link. That way you'll be in my tribe. And as always, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thanks guys. So just select six month trial membership.
or the one year's $20. And most of you are going to save way more than that uh, buying, especially if you're buying for more than one vehicle or more than just an oil change. But check it out. The price difference is pretty good. Check out the uh, details on it. When you go to check out or create your account, this is what you want to see, guys. I really appreciate it. I wonder if I should... can't see it. There.